Hi everybody, in this video I am going to cover the most important questions for semester 2 biology board exam. If you go by the syllabus of biology, you will come to know that there are uh, some intricate chapters like circulatory system and then uh, endocrine system. The only uh, key to score full marks in this is you have to be very clear with the definitions, the functions, diagram based questions and uh, the locality of each organ. Um, let's begin with circulatory system then and yes I want to tell you about my ebook also that is biology uh, previous year questions ebook now the cost is very uh, minimal and if you go by this ebook you will come to know that a lot of questions from past years have been covered here along with the answers so if you want to buy it the link is in the description box let's continue so functions of blood, any three functions can be asked. Then composition of blood, which is RBC, WC and platelets. Their um, other names must be revised. Then universal donor, that is the O uh, blood group and universal recipient, that is AB. Then we come to coagulation or clotting property. And next property is thrombosis. You will have to go uh, from your book and just revise everything. The most important part here is the diagram of heart it is very intricate and uh, the location questions will be based on that relaxation phase of the heart is called diastole blood vessels carrying blood to left atrium is pulmonary vein protective covering of heart pericardium so these are some very basic questions and they may ask you the location of tricuspid valve that is located between right auricle and right ventricle Please refer to the previous year questions. They have been repeated a lot. Next is the important blood vessels entering heart and leaving heart. Before that, all definitions and differences of artery, vein and capillary must be revised. Blood vessels entering heart, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, coronary sinus and then leaving heart, pulmonary artery, aorta and coronary artery. So, if I talk about coronary artery, it enters into heart, hepatic artery into liver, renal artery into kidney and hepatic portal vein from gut into liver. Now, blood vessels entering liver or leaving liver, entering or leaving kidney, refer to your book. Valves and their locations, then love and dub sound and this is toll and diastole. The diagram is important. Functions of spleen, a very important term. Then portal vein. What is portal vein? It takes blood from the stomach and other organs near the stomach to the liver. Then we come to diapedesis and please refer to its diagram also. It has been asked many times previously. Next is excretory system. The structure of kidney. A very uh, frequently asked question is structural and functional unit of kidney. That is nephron. Okay. And yes, the diagram of kidney. Bowman's capsule and glomerulus. And please label the diagram properly. In case you do not do, uh, your marks will be deducted for the same. Then uh, ADH or hormone and its function. Full form must be learned. Formation of urine. The three major steps required. Ureter and urethra function. It was previously asked in both. Location of proximal convoluted tubule and at last uh, the diagram based questions your exercise questions moving on to nervous system here the diagram of neuron its structure its labeling labeling everything should be covered in this part axon dendrites neurotransmitters their functions moving on to brain the covering is the meninges and it's divided into these uh, three parts cerebrum cerebellum medulla its functions then uh, as you know brain is filled with this uh, liquid which and then this term reflex action sense organs the structure of eyeball you'll have to label it and all these important terms like astigmatism then myopia versus hypermetropia how can you correct it for myopia, you have to use this concave lens to correct your vision. This is uh, short-sightedness. Then hypermetropia, convex lens. Ear and its uh, structure. The passage of waves. 
how it is entering uh, the eustachian tube and also learn the three bones that are present in ear what is cochlea the ossicles its function and location a very interesting chapter endocrine system all the full forms of gh dsh adh must be learned like gh uh, is the growth hormone and you'll have to uh, answer the questions like over secretion of gh or under secretion of gh which disease is there right like for uh, under secretion of uh, growth hormone dwarfism right and uh, over secretion it is gigantism and then uh, pituitary gland that is called the master gland it controls all the glands present in our body thyroid gland its location the hormone secreted like thyroxine and calcitonin the deficiency of thyroxine causes all these diseases which you have to learn and like simple goiter that is commonly in uh, common in hilly areas just because the salt content is very less there important terms like islets of langerhans the cushing uh, syndrome then adrenal viralism hyposecretion and hypersecretion of all these hormones a gland which secretes both hormone and enzyme is pancreas yes definition of tropic hormones now i'll just show you what questions are asked in board examination i'm referring to my ebook we'll do 2018 only the blood vessel which uh, supplies blood to the liver answer is hepatic artery the layer of the eye that forms the transparent cornea that is sclera number of spinal nerves in a human being 31 pairs if you have read every line in your book and uh, you have done it uh, well then only you can answer all these questions otherwise it's very complicated to recall everything yes then the number of spinal nerves we have done it aqueous humor is present between the cornea and lens again the locality of all these things cretinism it is the hyposecretion of thyroxine diabetes insipidus hyposecretion of vasopressin and there is this other disease diabetes mellitus okay exothalamic uh, exothalamic goiter the hyposecretion of thyroxine then adrenal goiter the hyposecretion of adrenal cortex dwarfism hyposecretion of growth uh, growth hormone that is uh, present in the pituitary gland the outermost layer of meninges is dura mater blood in the renal artery or renal vein which has more urea blood in renal artery now uh, this is a diagram based question and uh, it asks you the phenomenon that is depicted in the diagram define the phenomenon so the answer here is uh, reflex action right reflex action is a spontaneous involuntary and automatic response to any stimulus without the involvement of brain in this process brain is not involved now give the technical term for the point of contact between the two nerve cells neuron diagram is very important and the point of contact here is synapse name the parts numbered 1 2 3 these are all the neurons so answer is first sensory neuron the second is motor neuron and third is gray matter then how does the arrangement of neurons in the spinal cord differ from that of the brain so here in brain gray matter is outside and white matter is inside while in spinal cord it is opposite like gray matter is inside and white matter is outside the last question mentioned two ways by which the spinal cord is protected in our body it is by meninges and vertebral column then process of maintaining water and salt balance in the blood osmoregulation tropic hormone the frequently asked question hormone which regulates the secretion of other endocrine glands then squeezing out of white blood cells from the capillaries into the surrounding tissues that is diaphoresis then relaxation phase of the heart is diastole and testosterone you know it's present in testes the hormone estrogen for ovary ureter it removes urine from kidney to bladder urethra passes urine out of the body so i'll end this video here 
if you have any doubt you can comment down and i also uh, made ebook based on biology which is all about previous year questions link is in the description box thank you for watching this video have a good day and all the best for your examination